Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial about this very simple, a small handbag, which is, I call it a party bag. So it's very useful for your um, Christmas parties where you have to go, or you can just do it in a different color and it will match the theme of the Christmas. And I was very curious to experiment with a cord. So I went to my local hardware store and I got this cord, which is a 1mm thickness cord. And I took it on white color because I was just attracted from the white color. So I don't have a link for you because it was bought uh, at my uh, local store. And then I used a 3mm hook, which was working very well for this kind of thickness of the cord. And I did want to have this um, round bag, so that's why I worked with it. Uh, I still have some more other ideas to match this kind of shape, but for now I just put on um, shoulder chain. And then I put this decoration here with these little hearts. So, so it's ready for your Christmas party. So this is how it all uh, looks like and I'm very pleased with the result. I think this one can be done very well in different shades and it's going to be still um, a very nice shape. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope you're on your way out. You are going to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new to my channel and you like the content and just follow me on Instagram, Facebook, social media and check my Etsy shopper patterns and uh, more patterns coming soon. So if you want to see the making of this bag, just keep watching. For this project, I'm going to use this kind of cord, which is white color and I'm going to use a 3mm hook. I will drop the link in the description box. First of all, we are going to make a magic circle. And we are going to crochet 8 stitches. shading we will pull the cord now we are going to do the second round with the v-stitch so we have to find the v which is about here we will do two single crochet in one stitch Don't work very tight because the cord is a very hard uh, material to work with to begin with so leave a little bit loose your stitches. So while pull the cord. So we will just continue doing that, two single crochet in one stitch all around. At the end of this round number 2, we will have 16 stitches. start round number three the pattern will be the first stitch two single crochet in one stitch the second stitch one single crochet in one stitch and we will repeat this all around at the end of round number three you must have 24 stitches First stitch, 
two single crochet in one stitch, second stitch, one single crochet in one stitch, we will repeat another seven times. Here it is, finished round number three. The pattern for round number four is just going to be very simple, I'm not gonna do any increase. So I will do all around on each uh, stitch one single crochet. So uh, once I finish round number four, I will have again still 24 stitches. This because I want to give the round shape uh, to the back. round number four and I will start round number five. The pattern for round number five will be like this. The first stitch, one single crochet in one stitch. The second stitch, two single crochet in one stitch. And the third stitch, one single crochet in one stitch. We will repeat this pattern seven more times. At the end of round number five, we must have 32 stitches. If you can see, now there is a little bit of curving. So it's taking shape. I will start round number six. Round number six, I'm not gonna do any increase. So I will just go around and do on each stitch one single crochet. So at the end of round six, I'm gonna have 32 stitches. and if you see there is the shape in place so the circle has to come gradually not um, all at once because otherwise it will be like a cone and we don't want a cone we want a, a sphere okay so at round number seven the pattern will be uh, the first stitch two single crochet in one stitch the next three stitches one single crochet on each another seven times. At the end of round number seven you must have 40 stitches. Finish round number seven and now I will start round number eight. The pattern for round number eight will be the first two stitches, one single crochet on each. The third stitch, two single crochet in one stitch. The next two stitches, one single crochet on each. This pattern we will repeat seven more times. At the end of round number eight, we must have 48 stitches. In round number eight, I will start round number nine. The pattern for round number nine will be first stitch, two single crochet in one stitch. stitches, one single crochet on each. We will repeat this pattern seven more times. At the end of round number nine, you must have 56 stitches. Finish round number nine, so I will start around number 10 and at round number 10, I'm not gonna do any increases, so I will just do one single crochet in one stitch all around. So at the end of round number 10, I'm gonna have again 56 stitches. Finished round 10 and now we'll start round 11. The pattern for round 11 is going to be the first three stitches, one single crochet on each stitch. The fourth stitch, two single crochet in one stitch. The 
The next three stitches, one single crochet on each. This is the pattern for one section and we will repeat this pattern another seven times. Finish round 11 and now I am going to do four more rounds. So in total I'm gonna have 15 rounds. These other four rounds I'm not gonna do any increase. So the number of the stitches is just going to be the same as the ones in round 11. So I will meet you once I finished uh, round number 12, 13, 14 and 15. Okay guys, here is the finished uh, crochet part of one side of the bag. I have this part left over and I just kept it, I didn't cut it, because I will do another part like this, which I did actually beforehand, and I will uh, attach them together by sewing. Now I can just do the attachment. As you can see I left more less open here at the front but nearly half and on the way back I just went back one more time so I'm doing like a cross stitch if you can see here I want to do a cross stitch just to keep the things in place okay so I'm going one more time back doing a cross stitch if you see I have all the first sewing here and then I'm just going to do a cross stitch on top of it. Okay guys, so here it is. I did the sewing and uh, I left this part open and now I want to do some other accessories and a shoulder strap here. So let me just uh, put it all together and show you how it all came together. 